So now in this video we're going to use the photo diode component there. It's one of the ones that look like an LED there, but it's not an LED. Um, you'll probably burn it out if you try to force current through it. But in uh, any case, you wire it reverse bias. So we got the cathode towards the more positive supply there. That's the shorter lead. The longer lead is connected to the resistor, headed to the negative supply right there. So we're going to measure the voltage. That's all you do with the output here. Because if you draw any current at all, it's going to throw off uh, the voltage there. And uh, these don't uh, let a ton of current uh, through. Um, if you get it really bright, they actually let a fair amount through. But in uh, any case, we're going to keep light levels closer. Um, I moved the lamp, so we're actually getting more than one volt. Um, now, that would be across the uh, resistor, um, but before it was uh, below that. So I only added these numbers. But if we measure one volt, we'll know about one milliamp of current going through the 1K resistor. So I have five volts. That means that the 1K resistor is not limiting the current. If it was, it'd be five milliamps. Instead, the light dependent resistor is limiting it more. Now, it doesn't matter if we change, and that would be based on light level, not the voltage level. That's what I was about to say. It doesn't matter what the voltage is. So the amount of current that flows through this depends on how much light is falling on it, not the voltage. But I think that when you get to a higher voltage, it warms up and conducts a little bit better but you still get close to about the same amount of current so we'll see that uh, voltage doesn't change all that much so now to take our voltage measurements i have the uh, multimeter probes alligator clips clipped in them and i crimped uh, these jumpers on there i just squeezed uh, with the uh, pliers the uh, alligator clips onto the other end of the wires there but uh, that's where the photodiode and resistor connect together right there our voltage is going to be a relationship to the negative supply there which we consider zero volt ground hopefully that makes sense so i'm going to set the meter to measure voltage if i accidentally went up one more spot it would uh, be resistance um the youtuber eev blog he told me on uh, twitter that if you accidentally set it to the uh, resistance you won't damage the meter that it can handle more uh, than what we're measuring here. So, any case, here at uh, this light level, we have a 0.165 volts. So I knew I had to turn the lamp up to get it higher. And I can shuffle the lamp a little. I shifted this stuff there. You can see we got even higher right there. Um, this doesn't pick up current near as well as a multimeter. So uh, never assume that's accurate. It's usually about uh, two milliamps off or so. So, any case, you saw that uh, we got up to this current level at uh, 5 volts so what we're going to do is move this up to uh, 12 volts and you're going to see it moves a little bit as I said before I think that's because it's getting warmer um, but I think we're going to settle uh, about here so it does change a bit as uh, voltage goes up but not, not a lot for the most part the number we're getting is not dependent on the supply voltage it's dependent on how much light is falling on it right there we got about uh, 312 and I don't know how well this is going to work. Turn the lamp off. Um, so, yeah, we got about uh, 3 milliamps right there. And I'm not even going to change the voltage. We already showed that change in the voltage. The current stays basically the same. It'll probably do better now um, because it's not getting as warm. But uh, you can't see that on the display. And if I turn the light on, I have to... Uh, it just washes out right there. Otherwise, I would show it. Um, but uh, as far as we're concerned now, we're done. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.